Hello and welcome to NDTV Profit. We are about a month or so into uh, the new year and in some ways sentiment has changed quite dramatically. We started the year talking about all the potential uh, that India has. It still has the potential but investor sentiment seems to have turned considerably uh, and unfortunately it's turned on macro concerns. What's the big picture from uh, the macro perspective? What's the banking picture? Joining us to talk about that and then hopefully a lot more, uh, Mr. Aditya Puri of HDFC Bank. Sir, thanks so much for uh, taking time to speak to us. Welcome. Uh, let me just start uh, you know, with the big picture. Unfortunately, it's looking a bit worried. At least if you look at, say, the headlines, you know, the markets, the macro numbers, there are issues that are cropping up. A couple of the issues that are being talked about right now, governance, inflation, interest rates. Let me start with inflation and interest rates. How much of a worry is it from where you stand? How much of a problem is it going to be to solve this inflation problem, the current inflation problem? See, inflation is a tough one. Uh, I think everybody has identified it as an issue. Inflation will come down to 7% or thereabouts by March because of the base effect. Inflation going forward would be a function of food prices, commodity prices, and what demand pressures you get. Uh, that would also be a function of the GDP growth rate. Traditionally, we've seen that till we solve the infrastructure issues, when we go past about an 8.5% growth rate, uh, we seem to create inflationary pressures. Uh, we must understand that this is not a phenomenon only for India. It is for the emerging markets. We may have had it slightly exaggerated. Parts of it was transitory, like the vegetable prices, etc. But there is also a structural part to it, whereby the semi-urban and rural areas are consuming uh, better. And since it's persisted for a while, it's moved on to general inflation. I do believe that we will be in a position within the global environment to control it at the sub-7% uh, level, unless our GDP growth goes much higher. And the other way of saying that is we may have to uh, sacrifice some growth to ma maintain uh, inflation at the right level. And that would be fine if instead of 85 we grow at 8 or thereabouts. I think inflation will be more controllable. Would you be a little critical, though, of the way it's been managed? Because a lot of people, what they're saying right now is that you're running an 8, 8.5% growth economy with 7% inflation. China's running a 10% growth economy with 5% inflation, and they're perhaps more worried about it or seem to be doing more than we are. Surely it's not acceptable for us to have 7% inflation higher at the consumer level in an economy where such a large population is still under, uh, under a sort of poverty line. See, inflation is obviously a emotive issue in a poor country. Uh, is our inflation high relatively? I think yes. And we were trending in the right direction. Uh, my own belief is I think we will have some adjustments. And some of the things that we've had recently could have been supply constraints, could have been uh, better management, all of that, as well as some structural changes that are taking place, uh, which cannot be solved in one or two months. I do believe that we will move towards solving it. Next year, inflation level will be lower. Our own estimate is between 65 and 7, depending upon GDP. And I think if GDP grows at about 8.5%, a 6 to 6.5% inflation is manageable. Okay. Uh, it would have to come to an extent, like you said, at the cost of growth. So higher interest rates, even though that may not be the best way to control uh, the current bout of inflation, inevitable in your view? I think interest rates will go higher. But I do believe that there is an apprehension that they will spike up. I don't think that is true. The Reserve Bank has already, between moving from reverse repo to repo and its rate increases, increased by about 300 basis points. I think we're coming towards the end of that cycle, both in terms of the monetary tightening as well as the inflation. And at max, you can see, depending upon how the globe pans out, about 100 basis points, more likely to be in the 75 basis points over a year. Uh, even if rates go up by about 75 basis points, I don't think a 75 basis point increase, say, in housing loans from 10 to 10, 10 and a half or 10.75, because I'm not sure the full increase would be uh, passed on, because this is only at the margin it's increasing. You also have a base of your deposits at a lower cost. So I don't think housing loans at 10.5, 10.75 is something that is too high. So there will be rate increases, but we are at the fag end uh, of the cycle. And uh, more importantly, I think we need to control our fiscal deficit. To that is linked the fact that if uh, we have to make sure that we have the right approach on subsidies, 
Because if we don't, with the increased commodity prices and oil prices, if we don't pass them on, that will create uh, problems in terms of the uh, borrowing, and that feeds into inflation. So fiscal deficit is important to control. We have to see how the globe pans out. Uh, there are lots of uncertainties. I think uh, getting too worried about all of them at this stage when nobody has all the answers would be premature. Uh, we still remain optimistic that inflation will come under control and the fact that India over the medium to long term is still structurally one of the best stories.